Good morning, Seth. Hey, good morning. Nice to meet you and thank you for your time. I'd like to talk to you today about the DK Lock tube fitting. Now the DK Lock tube fitting looks like any other fitting you've ever seen before. To assemble the DK Lock fitting, it's only necessary to take your prepared tube, insert it in tight against the shoulder of the fitting, make sure it bottoms out, tighten the nut hand tight, and then with a wrench, tighten to one and a quarter turns. Okay? Now, we always recommend that you take some type of marking device and you mark the nut at the six o'clock position or any other position on the nut that's favorable to you in the field, as you see here, so that you can track one and a quarter turns pull up to the complete installation position. I'll also put the pin top on the top of this tube so that as I tighten this fitting, you'll be able to see that it remains perfectly still and absolutely no torque is being transmitted from the fitting to the tube as I tighten it. And you can also see the nut, uh, mark on the nut is advancing as I rotate the nut and I'm now at what would be the nine o'clock position or one and a quarter turns. At the completely installed position, the fitting now will hold pressures high enough to burst the tube or it will perform industrial vacuum service. When you take the fitting apart, Completely remove the nut from the fitting body threads, and you may have to work the tube slightly to get it out of the fitting body. Now, if we were to take a micrometer and measure the enlarged section ahead of the ferrules here, this would mic up to 382 thousandths of an inch, which is the bore of the fitting body. If we measured behind the ferrules, it would measure to 375 thousandths, which is 3 8 OD. The ferrules are locked in a permanent position on the tube, uh, due to the elasticities of the metals, uh, the hardness, and the wall thickness, you may be able to rotate the ferrules, but you cannot move them axially along the tube. Okay, so when we put the fitting back together, uh, the swage ferrules on the tube and the body of the fitting work just like the stem tip and the seat of a valve. So to put the fitting back together, you insert the pre-swage tube and ferrule set back into the body. Tighten the nut down to the hand tight position and you can see that the mark is about seven o'clock. To reinstall this fitting, simply return the mark to the nine o'clock position and you'll feel the torque rise significantly. And at that point, you just want to snug slightly. This puts the ferrules back into a holding and gripping position for leak tight performance. Okay, now you saw how easily I did that and you really need to see for yourself just how easy it is to install the DK lock tube fitting. So I'll insert the tube in tight against the shoulder, tighten the nut to the hand tight position, and I'll make a mark here at the six o'clock position for you. And then using right hand leverage, you can tighten the fitting to the one and a quarter position. Watch that mark go a full 360 from six to six, and then another quarter turn to the nine o'clock position. That's a pretty smooth feel, isn't it? It is. Okay, so you're at the nine o'clock position. This fitting is completely installed. And what you can do at this point is you can take this hardened and ground gauge that we provide because our fittings are gaugeable. And you can insert the 3 8 portion of the gauge into the gap between the nut and the fitting body. Now this is a no-go gauge. So if this will not go, if it will not fit into this gap, then you've tightened this connection sufficiently. Okay, if it would in go into the gap, then you would need to snug the nut slightly until it does it. Now we manufacture the DK lock fitting in brass, carbon, and stainless steel as common shelf stock items. But we also make these products in alloys such as uh, Monel, Titanium, Hastelloy, Inconel, Super Duplex. And we would be more than happy to work with you in any special alloy applications or any other applications you may have in your plant. Any questions? No, sir. All right, well thank you for your time. Thank you.